All right. Hey, there's nothing that we love more than being able to help. You know, yeah. it's people write into advice columns and right. maybe they don't get a timely answer. Or maybe they don't get the answer they like. They say, how about a different perspective? Mm -hmm. We answer people's yeah. questions for them. So here's one from an advice column. Patrick? Uh, all right. This uh, first one is from Vomity. Oh. Uh, <laughs> to Dear Carolyn in the Washington Post, uh, she starts with, this is, this is kind of a silly problem. My kind, sensitive mother-in-law makes me sick. <laughs> oh, don't. Uh, she stayed with us for a few weeks while I was pregnant. Uh, now I have a six-month-old. I was pretty vomity, and one of the many triggers was the scent of my mother-in-law's hairspray and perfume. I didn't say anything at the time because I didn't want to hurt her. Hurt her. Uh, they don't make me vomit, but I'm finding them nauseating and generally yeah. unpleasant. Should I just suck it up, avoid where I can, and give my body a chance to outgrow the associations? Yes. Sign vomity. Yes. I mean, she's not living with them anymore, right? She sees them probably, sees her mother-in-law probably in visits. I think mm -hmm. that's a big question. How often How are you often seeing, are seeing her? Because it's not personal. It's not like saying you're a bad person. You're just saying this product that you buy doesn't yeah. work for me. Yeah, that's but not depending, her problem. Believe me, depending on the parent, that oh, can be yeah, personalized and internalized <laughs> right. very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I say you write it out because if you were going to say something, the time would have been when you were vomity, when you were yes. just had, and she was staying at your house. She, That's when you could have brought it up. She missed the opportunity. Missed the window. Yep. All right, this is from Dear Abby. My husband passed away two years ago. I hope you can give me some advice on how to deal with my 53-year-old daughter who never left home. We generally get along well. She does freelance art but doesn't earn much. She contributes only $30 a month. Also, she has a driving phobia, so she expects me to drive her to various places. She only has cyber friends. She wants to travel but doesn't want to go alone and keeps pushing me to go with her, although I really don't want to. I feel pressured to keep peace and go along with her desires. How should I handle this? Well, I think You that, should have handled it 25 years ago you. is when you should have handled it. The, the ship has left the yeah, dock. Yeah, you're stuck I, I mean, come on. Yeah, that's your uh, life. You, you, you know, you, you had 30 years to figure this out. That's right. Is that you, you didn't think she needed to be self-sufficient before right. now? I mean, she probably on some level enjoyed having her around. Right. You know, because yeah. maybe so when her husband left and then it kind of snowballed yeah. or died, and, you know, that's tough, but it's going to be hard to rip that band aid off now. It sounds like she ha may have some more serious issues, maybe. though, and that maybe, which also were not addressed in and, childhood. And to be fair, we're not qualified to answer those. <laughs> Speak for yourselves. <laughs> I'm very qualified. <laughs> We yeah. don't need to be qualified to talk on TV, yeah. in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, and this one from Care and Feeding in Slate. What are your thoughts on checking older kids' phones? I have two daughters, 17 and 16, and my mom friends constantly tell me that they check the phones of their daughters at the same age, but I think it's inappropriate to be checking my daughter's phones at that age to check or not check. So you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm paying for the phone. Right. But I'm checking the phone. Right. I'm checking the phone. And they're minors, you know? Yeah. It's like there there could be dangerous. That you got, That's right. You are completely within your rights. Yeah. Right. right. Depending on how dopey your kids are, right. check them past 18, too. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. you're still paying for it. Otherwise, if you want to pay for your own phone, you have you have right to all your privacy, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I remember thinking how grown up I was at 22, 23. I look back. Idiot. Uh, all of us. Mike, were you an idiot? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> and to think our parents were having children at that oh, point. I know. I wonder yeah, why we be. turned out the way we I did. I know. Because they were 23 when they had us. I know. <laughs> or younger. Good. Yeah, I mean, well, I hope that was helpful. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was. Why not? Yeah. We're, you know, just a different perspective yeah. sometimes helps. A positive perspective. Yes. Yeah. None of these PhDs and these fancy degrees. <laughs> God, what a waste. <laughs>